My name is Ken Weaver, and this is an audition tape for Rebel Link, No Song. Um, it's a very simple song, but it has to remain consistent or it takes away from the message. So um, I'm going to keep my usual sparkly repartee to a minimum for this song. Um, the reason I chose this song is because, um, well, a couple of reasons. Number one, it's uh, Rebel Inc.'s, um, I don't want to say it's their best song. I want to say it's their most current message song. It's on the radio. It's on iTunes. It's a great tune, and it has a great message. Um, also, <clears throat> it's a little simpler than... Uh, things I usually do, and I don't mean simple in a bad way, I mean simple as in in the pocket, groove, and consistent. Now, those are very important things for drummers, and a lot of drummers lose sight of that. Um, they think that the faster they can do, that makes them a better drummer. It doesn't always. Um, the most important thing about drumming is that you're keeping the beat, you're keeping time, uh, tempo, rhythm, etc., and that you are actually accenting, accentuating things that the band does. Let's say you've got a guitar part as a solo, it's, you know, and you go, and you want to, and it's just a simple solo, but as a drummer, you can either add to that solo or subtract to it, from it. So, I don't know the song all that well. I've listened to it twice in the car. Um, but like I said, I chose this one so that I can show you that as a drummer, I can also keep it in the pocket. Now, I'm not sure if this song was recorded to a click track or not. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, it does feel like it speeds up a little near the end. So I'm going to follow the original recording without a click to it. I'm just basically playing to Brian's drumming parts. And um, also these little earbuds. Um, I'm in the middle of many moves. <laughs> right now I'm in the, the center of Florida. And I don't know where my noise-canceling noise uh, earphones are. So right now I'm just going to play with these little earbuds. Um, I'm in a hallway. Uh, I feel like it's the deadest part of the house so that you can't hear it outside, but at the same time it, uh, it reflects all the noise back at me and it's very hard to hear what's in here over the drums. So what I'm doing is I'm following it to the best of my ability and let's see how it sounds. If it'll play. If it likes me.
the uh, the little slider bar to see exactly when it ends <laughs> it's like all right all right and and as you can see it's a simple song but it's very groove driven and that is extremely important as a drummer you need a drummer that can drive a groove um, Adam and Kevin refer to it as an engine which is not just uh, a great metaphor from, you know, Detroit, you know, Rock City, but it's phenomenal for a good drummer because that's what they do, they drive the song. When you're playing, anybody can go, but it takes a drummer to be able to drive a song, and sometimes using your kick, simply your kick, not even your fills, your snare, your hi-hat, can be used to drive a song. I'll give you an example. Using the kick to drive into the next bump, bump, you know, into the next measure. Um, you could do it every four times, you can do it every single time. There's um, clever placement when you become a drummer to really drive the song or to add, subtract to the vocals, from the vocals, to the solo, from the solo. And the most important thing that you can have is a bassist who has really good understanding of drumming because it's percussive. I'm not just talking about hammer-ons and hammer-offs or boom, 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 you know, because you can hear it's driving right there. And with a good drummer and a good bass player, you're going to have a very tight rhythm section that drives a song. Well, Brian, the drummer of Rebel Inc., also plays bass. So having a bass player that plays drums is probably the most important thing you can have to make a good, tight, solid, driving, engine-oriented band. And I believe that Rebel Inc. is... I don't want to use maturing. I want to use evolving into that band. And uh, not just the messages, not just um, the clever guitar parts. Um, it's almost hard rock pop in a way, simply because it's not too busy, it's something you can listen to, and it's something that you'll listen to for the lyrics, which by definition is pop music, although Rebel Inc. is far from pop. So, but at the same time, using the term pop not meaning popular, the band really does pop. It locks, it rocks, and that is why I'm going to try out for Rebel Inc. Thanks for watching.